let's look at the second order low pass filter and uh, um, first let's look at the trans function t sub v s that's equal to v2 s over v1 s and before we do all these um, the mathematical derivations and first physically this should be a low pass filter right because the capacitance voltage across the capacitor at low frequency and the capacitor looks like an open circuit. So the voltage across this capacitor is going to be equal to the input voltage. That means the gain would be equal to 1, that's 0 dB. At a higher frequency, the capacitor looks like a short circuit. So the voltage across the capacitance, the V2, should be very small. So therefore, you have this attenuation there. And let's look at the trans function. I hope you can see uh, very clearly this is going to be a voltage division, right? The capacitance, the impedance of this capacitor is 1 over Cs. That's over the sum of the three impedances. That's R plus Ls plus uh, 1 over Cs. And if we multiply Cs on the numerator and denominator, and we're going to get the form uh, we like. And that will give us, so the uh, numerator becomes 1. On the denominator, we have uh, LC as a square. I'm trying to write the second order first, square term first. And then we have R times C times S and plus 1. And this actually, this is the kind of the ideal form we would like to have. And this should be, if we compare it to the general form, this should be equal to something like uh, S uh, square over omega 0 square plus uh, 2 zeta uh, S over omega 0, omega 0 plus 1. And if we compare, we can determine what the natural resonance frequency, and if we compare LC equal to 1 over omega 0, and we have omega 0 equal 1 over square root LC. And this is true for series connected um, uh, RLC, and also which is true for parallel connected. So this is resonant frequency, or the natural resonant uh, frequency. Um, for the zeta term, we need to compare, we have RC that should be equal to zeta over omega 0, so therefore zeta is equal to half RC times omega 0, which is um, half, well RC, uh, let me put RC on the, on the RC over square root LC, L times C, so if we divide by C, we cancel this C and we divide by C, and we can uh, move this c into the square root becomes c squared. So we have half of r over l over c. And l over c is typically known as a characteristic impedance in the RLC circuit. And uh, actually, a square root of l over c has the unit of ohms. Uh, so therefore, the zeta does not have any unit. Let's plug in the numbers and see uh, what's the omega zero, so we can uh, we can uh, uh, draw the uh, three line approximations of the body plots. And in um, in this problem, we have L equal hundred micro, so omega equal one over square root L C. That's equal one over square root of one hundred micro hundred times. 10 to the power minus 6 and C is 1 micro so that's 1 times 10 to the power negative 6 and we have um, we have 1 over so 100 we take a square root that's a 10 and 10 to the power 6 we square that and then take a square root that's a 10 to the power minus 6 so we have 10 to the power 5th um, reading per second or 100 k reading per second that's the omega zero, that's the natural resonance frequency. And the zeta is, zeta is in this case, this is the, this is the over damp system, I'm almost sure, because the resistance is way too big. So let's see, uh, half R over, R over um, L over C, and we have a half, R is equal to 100, 
and the L over C is 100 over 1. That's because the micro and macro, micro will be uh, canceled. We have um, half uh, 100 over 10, that's a 10, so we got a 5. So the system is over damped system. That means the uh, the body plus at omega equal to omega zero, there won't be much uh, the oscillation there. So um, we have won't be have much uh, higher uh, than the zero dB line part. If we uh, do the body plus approximations, and so this is the TV J omega in terms of dB, and we know this this is second order system and omega zero that's 100k and let's see we have one mega here and we have 10k here and the um uh, let me change the color maybe using black so this the horizontal axis is the omega in radian per second in radian per second and the, the vertical axis is going to be uh uh, zero uh, the db and let's see let's mark this as a negative 40 and in, ten, in here this is going to be zero and at 10 times that frequency that's negative 40 let me change the color um, so and the low frequency lower than the um, the uh, resonant frequency we're going to use the uh, zero db line and and we're gonna have negative 40 dB per decade slope at a higher frequency and so this one has a negative 40 dB per decade and that's for the uh, for the uh, uh, for the game plot and let's look at the phase plot so the phase plot and the low frequency we have uh, zero, right? And high frequency, this is gonna de uh, this is gonna drop to negative uh, one hundred eighty. My tablet is gonna slow down. I hope the recording is still fine. So in uh, this plot here, we are plotting the T J omega. We have TJ Omega T sub VJ Omega. We are plotting that function, the face angle, and we are, we align this as a 10k, 100k, and a 1 meg. And we have a 10k. For the frequency, we need two decades for the transition. And if I switch the color, and in this, uh, for the for the gain here, we are gonna transition in two decades. So at a higher frequency, we get a one, negative one hundred eighty, and and uh, this the transition is for negative one hundred eighty. If happening in two decades, and in the middle at the resonant frequency, we have a negative ninety degrees. Okay, so that's for the uh, low pass filters. And we're gonna look at the uh, how how this is gonna uh, um, behave in the in the experiment in the in the last video clip. Next, we're gonna look at the other type of filters. Okay.